I'm Matt Williams, Mr. MPW. Join us as we take to the skies in various flight simulators using different plugins, different technology, different things to learn how to fly safely and efficiently. Hey everyone, it's Matt Williams with Strength BW. Welcome to today's video. So today we are going through the CAT 3 rating in Pilot Edge, the Pilot Edge platform, uh, where we'll be performing three circuits at San Luis Airport. So uh, let's go. So we've got all the frequencies set up, 124.0, which is the tower, and we are monitoring that. We've got uh, 1216, which is ground, which we'll uh, go across to now. Um, and then we've got the ATIS frequency 120.6 in the standby window on COM2, so, um, sorry, the, the active window now in COM2, so let's grab the ATIS first of all. X-ray. X-ray. San Luis, Alby Regional Airport, ATIS information X-ray, 1456 Zulu, wind 320 at Niner, gust 17, visibility 10, sky condition, clear, temperature 13, Two point seven, altimeter three zero two zero, arriving and departing runway two nine. -er. Visual approaches in use. Read backhaul runway assignment and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information. X-ray. Cool. X-ray. San Luis County Regional Airport. Hey, is what we'll let them know that we have got, and um, we've got that set to runway two nine three zero two zero, and that's reading correctly. Everything else is looking good. So um, we're on the kind of transient parking now. So we're taxi down to threshold runway two nine um, for closed traffic. So let's have a chat with ground and um, make sure this flaps are up. Uh, let's have a chat with ground and get ourselves underway. <coughs> Come on, ground we have. San Luis Ground, Skyhawks. Let's try again. San Luis Ground, Skyhawk 714, Golf Zulu is at Transio Parking. Request taxi with X ray, um, close traffic for the Cat 3. I wonder if he didn't hear me. Number 714 Golf Zulu, San Luis Ground, runway 29 or taxi via Alpha. Runway 29 or taxi via Alpha, 714 Golf Zulu. Cool. Uh, taxi forward, that's why it's always worth a little wait. Checking the brakes, brakes are good. Continuing the taxi, we are clear all around. Just coming around to the right. Wings up to left, ball out to right, compass is decreasing all around. Here we go, so this is Alpha ahead of us now. And it's runway 29, which we've got set up on the um, heading bug as well for the, on the DI, just so that we can see that. And a little right turn coming in. Wings to the right, ball to the left, compass is increasing all around, free to move, which is good. Taxi to the ramp on Alpha on my frequency make a request of ground when you're ready. Cool. Three, five, seven, uh, on the taxi out then. Oh, that's a fairly lengthy taxi out, so I'll get the takeoff brief done. Any major problem, power loss, malfunction on the departure while there's room ahead. It's safe, suitable to do so. I'll put the aircraft down, deal with the emergency on the ground. Um, after that, if we're able to, it'll be up around um, and below 700 feet, landing somewhere ahead. Um, above 700 feet, we'll be looking for a left turn to either come back into the circuit or to make it back to a suitable runway. So 700 feet being my cutoff with the conditions as it is today. Conditions as they are today, should I say. So we're going to go all the way down to the end, no point leaving any tarmac behind us, although we know that we're going to be able to um, to get off with plenty yeah, of runway behind us. Number 18357 on Alpha for uh, departure north east for the Cat 5. Number one eight three five seven. Generally, they'll need to be started from a ramp area. However, we'll just let it continue. Point <coughs> three zero. Taxi via Alpha. Taxi to three zero via Alpha. Number one eight three five seven. Okay, slow ourselves down. 
the snatchy the brakes on my uh, my rudder pedal setup here. Need to keep tweaking those, they're not quite right. I'm just going to come off into this area here. So do my run up checks. There we go. It's all set. Brakes are on. Throttle up to a thousand. Nose gear straight. Flight controls. Hey -oh. Flight controls are full and free. Just knocking my view everywhere. Not good. Um, fuel selector is set to on um, both. Um, we are clear behind. Throttle's coming up to 1,700. There we go, 1,700 set. Uh, suction minimum of three, which we have. Uh, it's about four and a half, just short of five there, which is nice. Magnetos, over to the left mag. Slight drop, back to both restored. Over to the right mag, slight drop back to both restored and the car be on this aircraft throttles coming to idle look for a minimum of 500 which we have there just shy of 700 357 looks like you grabbed alpha 7 did you have alpha there's a thousand set and flight instruments wise compass is cross checked head of set 3020 is set temperature pressure are all good and we are pretty much therefore good to go flaps wise i'm going to take flaps to 10 that is indicating and visually checked on both sides trim is set for takeoff one more tag so that you could have uh, trim set for takeoff, doors and windows are all secure. Transponder is on, set to L1200. Um, takeoff brief has been completed. Base and final is clear. We'll speak to uh, air traffic as well. All the lights are coming on now and the fuel pump is coming on and it will remain on throughout. And switching ourselves across to tower, which we can do automatically. And that's us holding short. Way too nine. St. Louis Tower, Skyhawk 714, Golf Sulu, holding short, runway 29. Skyhawk 714, Golf Sulu, St. Louis Tower, green, make left, close traffic, and report midfield on the downwind each pass, runway 29 are cleared for takeoff, wind at 320, liner gust 17. Make left, close traffic, clear for takeoff, runway 29, call mid uh, point downwind, 714, Golf Sulu. Cool, and taxi now. Looking nice at the moment, final's definitely clear. Santa Maria Tower, make right crosswind departure, runway 30 at Alpha 7, cleared for takeoff, wind 310 at 11. And I see 2 9 on the compass and the DI, and on the numbers ahead, power's coming in. Wind's noted, quite gusty, a bit from the right. RPM's good, temperature pressure's good, airspeed's alive. There's 55, gently rotating there, it's nice. Positive rate of climb and clear of all the obstructions, flaps coming up, that's indicating, and continue that acceleration. Let's get back onto that runway heading there. The balance would help. And there we go. This is off into our first circuit. Now, what I'm going to do is just because it's such a long runway, um, I'm just going to trade my rate of climb um, and climb at kind of 90 knots instead of 74. Um, I'm going to leave the pump on as we go and the flaps are up, temperature and pressure are all good. Um, climb up to 1200 feet straight ahead um, just to give us that separation because otherwise we're going to end up way too close to, um, to the runway when we turn crosswind here. ourselves set. Coming around to the left, we are clear around to the left. Two thousand two hundred RPM, we'll try that, see where it gets us. Try and find a figure to um, kinda of hold our hang our hat on if you like. It's gonna work for us. There we go, that's us. At about 90 degrees from the runway now, I can sit out on my left hand side. Let's get ourselves all set and trimmed out, which we have there. About 100 knots downwind, so we're at 2100 RPM, see what that does. Coming left, turning downwind. 2100 looks though, it should work quite nicely for us. <coughs> Uh, 
and that's going to give us now a nice spacing from the um, from the runway itself as we roll out downwind and we can check that it's all looking nice picking a marker ahead, a couple of markers ahead which I've got so lining up a couple of the hills flying towards those that means we know that if we track directly down that we're offsetting for any drift 1200 feet's working nicely and that's all looking good so the moment the flaps are up brakes are off pump is on and it will remain on, fuel is on, set to both instruments which are that height are all set and cross checked looking good Responders good and harnesses in secure. One four kilo fuel, sure, climb and maintain one one thousand. Do you transmit him? San Luis Tower, Sky X714, Golf Sulu midfield downwind, runway two nine. Another four golf sulu runway two nine clear for the option. Clear for the option, four golf sulu. Cool, and then a little bit of an extension downwind just to give ourselves plenty of room. Turn the corner, pulling that power back, set about 1800. First stage of flaps coming in. Getting that rate of descent on, about 500 feet per minute there or thereabouts is what we're looking for. Barbara Perch, Baron, November 18357, 4000 for 7500, about. Six northeast of Santa Maria Airport. Request flight following to Bakersfield. Kilo so we'll get nice. Eight hundred feet to go. Eighteen knots in the turn. As we roll out on base, he's cleared us for the options. That's all good. Good look out on final. That's all clear as well. <coughs> go for about eighteen hundred. I think that should work. When we come down there. Three five seven. Set of our approach. Squad three four five two. Temperature pressure all looking good. And final is clear. So left now, on to final approach. Way 29, another stage of flap. Let's not bring that speed back now to 65. There are thereabouts. No need to request a release, you just let us know you're ready for departure. We'll handle the releases for you automatically at a towered field. November okay, let's all look at the 70 knots we have. A little bit overshot there on the, um, on the final approach heading. So we'll try and get that right next time. Probably blown around by the wind a little bit, as it was. Bringing that speed back slightly nicely on the glide. 65 we have. Watching out for that wind, 65. Toes are clear of the brakes. We have been cleared for the option just before a touch and go. Holding that 65. There we go, over the threshold. Start to bring that speed back now. Into my flare. Holding her off. Nice and straight. There we go. And we're all down and safe. Power's coming in. RPM's good, temperature pressure's good, and we are airborne again. Instructions, flaps coming up. Going to trim as we go. Going to do the same thing here again because it's a long runway. Just um, accelerate up to about 90 as we go. Temperature pressure's all good in the climb. RPM Baron, is good. It's all looking good. Number seven, Romeo Whiskey, contact SoCal departure. knots. And again, that kind of extra airspeed just gives us that little bit of penetration into wind. Tower, Walker 169, holding short two zero left in left. Just to give us that extra spacing as we go. Number 757, Romeo Whiskey, SoCal departure, radar contact. Do me a favor and just pull the microphone away from your mouth. Just a little bit, it sounds like you're chewing on it. Uh, with Level limit 1200. Contact, climb and maintain at 3, Total coming back and turning left. 
2100 we found work nice last time. Thank you, that's much better. Here we go. Walker 169, John Wayne Tower, go morning, cross runway 20 left on Lima, runway 20 right, clear to four takeoff. Temperature Wait pressure's all on. good, that's all looking nice as we come good round morning, cross left to Lima, our crosswind. Right, clear for takeoff, Walker 169. Yep, perfect. We're 221 mic, contact okay, Hotel Approach 119.6. Let's get ourselves nicely set, get ourselves trimmed out. Try and get on these numbers. There we go. Coming around to the left to turn down wind. Cool. Those markers work quite nicely before, though we did end up, I think, drifting a little bit over to the right. So I'm just going to adjust my Heading air versus slightly. Two, two, one, Mike, so Good this time, Walmart, just aiming um, to the left of the first hill, holding that hill just off to the right hand side. That should make it a little bit nicer so that we're not drifting out wider on the downwind leg. But it's nice to do those refining things as we go. Okay, so brakes are still off. Mixture's fully rich. Pump is on. Two, two, one, Mike, Roger, have your Fuel is good. Set to both. And the pump. As we say, it's on instruments, cross checks. Right. We're looking at about one or one five or two zero. Turn right heading three two zero. Climb maintain three thousand. Responders on and out. My harness is secure. <coughs> Transmitted. And Lewis Tower seven one four Golf Sulu midfield downwind runway two nine. Number 757, Romeo Whiskey, I'm going to have to ask you again. Pull the microphone away from your mouth, it sounds like you're chewing on it. And then say again your request, I can't understand you. And we're just going to continue and I'll let him know. Are you looking for vectors or you want the full approach from Seal Beach? I'm going to continue, like I say, I'll get right, in when I can. You're very specific with your request if you can be. So we start turning base. November 714 Golf Zulu. Runway 29 are cleared for the option. Clear for the option, runway 29 and 714 Golf Zulu, thanks. There we go, so worth continuing in that case, just because I thought he may have heard us. If he hadn't, I would have called and told him that we were on base. Um, and, you know, they're watching anyway. They'll get the message, they'll um, understand that if someone else is blocking the frequency, there's not a lot that we can do about it, not a lot that they can do about it either. So here we go, nicely on base. Watching that RPM. And getting ourselves trimmed now. It's not looking too badly at the moment. So about 1700 is, yeah, 1700, 800 RPMs are working nicely. Walker All the 80 knots. So okay. Good look out on final. Final all looks clear at the moment. Turn around right to the left, one, trying to get ourselves on a uh, reasonable downwind, uh, sorry, final heading this time, rather than overshooting. Number 18357 LA Center, good morning, Bakersfield, altimeter 3020. Holding the 80 knots as we come around the corner. That's looking a bit better this time, I don't think I'm going to undershoot it, which is nice. Second stage of flaps can come in. That's indicating officially checked on both sides. Nicely trimmed for that. 70 knots now we can get on the speed. Let's get ourselves lined up nicely on the glide. All clear ahead. Toes are clear of the brakes. And we have been cleared for the option. This will be for a touch and go again. Walker 169, turn right 70 knots as we come down. We'll the glide is working nicely for us. Nicely trimmed down now. Pretty much could fly it hands off, hopefully. That's all looking good. 65 as we come over the fence. Looking towards the end of the runway now, so I can help it can help me judge the height and not plough her into the ground. There we go. Now we are on. Stage flap coming up, power's coming in. We are clear ahead. RPM's good. Temperature pressure's good. Airspeed is good and rotating there. Seven, Romeo, say uh, temperature pressure remain good, clear all the obstructions, we have a positive rate of climb indicated, flaps heading? coming up and indicated, visually checked on both sides, and same drills as before I think, go 
for uh, 90 knots. Climb out to about 1,000 feet circuit height. It's all seems to be working okay at the moment. Famous last words, I know, but uh, one more circuit. This is our final circuit, um, so I'll call this for a full stop to let him know that uh, that will be us complete. Okay, just thinking ahead of the aircraft, we've already got ground programmed into the radio. Make things easier once we get on the ground. So 1200 feet, so level in there, bringing that power back. Uh, coming around to the left and it is clear. Around to the left, just no back pressure. Put too much of that on. Feet. Temperature pressure all looking good. RPM is set. Just watching that height, climb it up a little bit. There's our kind of crosswind heading. And again, we can pick a mark right That's all looking good at the moment. Let's get ourselves back down towards 1200 feet. That should bring 100 knots back as well. Turn it left, downwind. watching that ball, it's probably been out the entire time. So what happens when you get a helicopter pilot and put him in an aeroplane? They just foot rest, right? And that's us nicely downwind and again those markers worked nicely last time. So I'll use those again. November two two one Mike. Okay, downwind then. Temperature pressure all good. Brakes. Hot off. Mix is fully rich. Pump is on. Pressure. Fuel flow is good. Temperature pressure is all good. Instrument cross check. 115. 120. So a little drift out, a couple of degrees between the DI and the compass, but happy with that. Fine visually at the moment, it's all working nicely. Just wander on an L1200, my harness is secure. Transmitting. San Luis Tower, Skyrock 714, Golf Sulu, midfield, downwind, runway 290, full stop. Number 4, Golf Sulu, I'm sorry, you say full stop, cut off there. Eh? A firm, 714, Golf Sulu, full stop, runway 290. Number 4, Golf Sulu, thanks, with San Luis Tower, wind 350 at 9, runway 290, runway cleared to land. Cleared to land, runway 290, November 714, Golf Sulu. stuff okay and that's us in about the right position now so let's get ourselves going down the first stage of flapper turning left 1700 is what we'll go for on the rpm as well come on let's get yourself going down far enough feet wildly out of trim i think then just perhaps didn't anticipate for the flaps coming in enough i thought i had Obviously not enough. 80 knots as we come around the corner. Just looking good. There we go, that's us on base now. And final looks clear over to the right hand side. Camera looking down, Skyhawk 6 6 minutes here, Papa, uh, signature replay, taxi with Yankee, not much pressure. 80 knots we want, so let's get a couple of knots back on there. Can increase that rate of descent slightly and add. 60 or 70 RPM. Okay, final still clear, turning left to final. Got a second stage of flap in now. Get us all slowing down. It's about 75 as we come around the corner. Get it right this time, eh? Almost. Maybe shot a little bit. This time. Gonna use the excuse that the gusty wind and we've got real world conditions in the sim. That's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. Okay, final approach then. Toes are clear of the brakes. We have been clear to land, runway is clear ahead. 65. We have, as we come over the fence. 
tower. Uh, advise when you have the ATIS. Expect runway 6. Report 5 miles east of the airport. 65, holding that 65. That's all looking nice. Okay, transferring now, looking okay, well we ahead. Losing that throttle. Holding her off. Whoa, a little bit of a little bit of a heavier one this time. Gosh, so where's the last one? I will take the first available exit. Flaps coming up. Pumps going off. Sky four golf Zulu right turn when you're able. Taxi into the ramp on Alpha monitor ground point six. Right turn here at Foxtrot to the ramp via Alpha to ground point six for Golf Suli. There we go, that's us here at Foxtrot. And again, on the far side of the hold line here, that's the aircraft fully over the hold line. So we pop the brakes on, make sure we've got all of the after landing checks done so the flaps are up and indicating the pump is off. Nav aids, um, I can now go to standby on the altimeter. If we had a DME, we'd turn that off as well. Strobe's going off, um, and the remaining lights going off. I'll we'll just leave the um, nav lights and the beacon on, and we are over to 1 to 1.6. And he's asked us to monitor that, so that's what we will do, uh, rather than talking to anybody. So here we go. And we'll taxi into the ramp straight ahead, which is where we generally tend to park. Stuff and uh, bring the tower into the right. Number one eight three five seven Bakersfield approach. Roger Bakersfield, altimeter three zero two zero. Advise with the ATIS and uh, expect runway three zero right. Brakes are on, and we will go for a shutdown here. So that guys is it. Um, the Cat three three circuits, not, uh, three circuits at San Luis. Um, closed traffic, you know. Um, try and be succinct on the comms I think is the big one for this um, you can hear that the controllers are quite busy and it's quite busy at the time of shooting this in general on the platform um, but yeah that is it fairly straightforward um, gets a bit more tricky if there's some circuit traffic but again it's all real world stuff it's all great training um, don't forget give the video a like if you did give it a thumbs down if you didn't subscribe if you haven't follow us um, join us on the discord there's a link down below um, drop us any questions in the comments down below um, and if you've got any questions specific to pilot edge you can find pilot edge on the pilot edge atc on all of the social networks but i shall see you in the cat 4 rating i've been matt williams fly safe blue skies